Hi, thank you for purchasing the motor mounts from myself, Roboteer Nat. Um, I'm selling these mo motor mounts for the Argos drill motors for Combat Robots uh, at £7 each, so thank you ever so much. Um, so how do you fit them? So there's a couple of things to look at, is these little profiles and also these profiles on the top of the motor. This is for adjusting the torque, so that's why you need the lugs there. Some people do lock these off, but this is an unmodified straight out of the motor, uh, straight out of the Argos drill motor. So the two mounts are 50mm HDPE, and you've got two different designs. One has these lugs, and the other one has a smaller profile. This one is used for uh, sitting around the motor, locating on these bits. And this one has the lugs for locating over this detail. So when we look at it top on, we can see that the lugs are on this side and it's central and along this axis, which means we've got a little tab here and these are at an angle to the uh, horizontal XY plane. So when we look at it, we can see that this lines up with this and also here there's a little t missing piece which allows this to slide in. So what we can do is just slide that on, they locate in place, slide through and then that sits over there and so that's now locked in place. We can then go to the other end and again the tabs on the inside that just slides in, sits on and is nice and tight. So the spacing is 30 millimeters, 52.5 millimeters, M5 and you can screw to a depth of 20 millimeters. The center to edge is 30 millimeters, which means if you've got a 10 mil um, base plate, your center will be uh, 10 millimeters in clearance at the end. So that will give you a 10 millimeter ground clearance. And that's it. That's it all locked into place. It's going nowhere. So thank you. And uh, any questions, just give me a message uh, either under this video or through the uh, forums and uh, hope to uh, combat against you soon.